All right, what's up you guys? I'm here at camp, been running around like a chicken with my head cut off because today I have a youngster who I don't even really know his name, but he's coming to camp to meet and I'm gonna take him hog hunting. You excited we got visitors coming? Those guinea hens are crazy. But uh, yeah, I'm really excited for this youngster to come visit. And hopefully we can take him to the range, let him shoot a little bit, and then get him out hunting this afternoon. What's going on, youngster? What's your name? DJ. DJ? With Dusty. Dusty Jr. Dusty Jr., huh? Yep. How's it going, man? How you doing, sir? Nice to meet Pleasure you. Nice to meet, to meet you. you. Yeah, yes, for sure. Well, welcome to camp. Welcome to camp. Let me show you around a little bit. All right, Dusty. We're coming back to a spot I call the Five Acre Food Plot. And Sarah and I just hunted out here maybe three days ago. We had a great time. We saw a big old boar hog, a bunch of does and some turkeys, and it was a good time. So I think that's where we're gonna go to start off with, see if we can't get one. What are you most excited about? Like, what is this that most excites you? Um, that it's like, it's gonna be my first boar and this is like um, a lifetime experience for me. That's awesome, man. I'm so excited. I'm so honored to be able to bring you out here. What are your two or your three favorite channels you watch on YouTube? Um, Roman Atwood and uh, you. You like Roman Atwood? Yeah. Roman, let's do a collaboration. <laughs> Right now, the wind is out of the northwest. Anytime you're hunting, you want the wind to be in your face when you walk in, because all the game out here, deer, hogs, um, coyotes, bobcats, everything, they use their nose more than anything. So, we're gonna slip in, get in a tree. Figure out how you can get comfortable. We literally just got in the stand, got our safety harnesses hooked up, and I mean, in like an instant, a hog walked out. Uh, about a hundred pound sow hog. The wind's blowing really, really hard, so I can talk a little bit louder. I hope you guys can hear us. So we've got two sow hogs and a boar out in the field. One of the sows is a perfect hog. She's probably about 70 pounds, doesn't have any piglets, exactly what we're looking for. But they're all black, so it's like I'm trying to pick out which one. I, I think you drilled her. I think he, I think you made a good job. What do you think? Yeah, I think I I think I got it. <laughs> awesome. So we went to the range earlier today to make sure he was accurate with the gun. He was shooting great there, so it was a pretty long shot. So I said if you can if you can make the shot, trip trigger. That's what he did. Look at all the turkeys. Those are turkeys? Yeah, them are turkeys. See where all the rooting is? This is what the hogs do. Oh 
See how they've rooted all up? Yeah. See how this is all dug up, oh, dug in the holes? Gone. And it should look like that. I think this will be a, a lifetime experience. This is pretty cool. Um, to be honest, I'm actually speechless. <laughs> really? I'm really speechless right now. Oh, that's so cool, man. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Right. Now, what do you, now what do we have to go do? Um, catch it. Oh, no, wait. Ugh. <laughs> we're going to have to clean it, and um, we're going to eat it. <laughs> that's right. Good job, buddy. You got your first hog. Thank you. That is awesome. Nice, perfect, fat sow. All right, you guys. I had an absolute fantastic time with DJ. Great kid. I mean, he listened so well. And DJ, if you're watching, buddy, it was awesome getting to take you hunting on your first hog hunt. Now, everybody else, you know, Whenever I spend time with fans or people, most of the time I'm not filming because I like to show them all my attention. And you know, sometimes we're filming, like during the hunt, it was it was fun to capture that on video. But coming back and cleaning the hog and cooking the hog, I was so intent on showing them what to do and how to do and having a good time with them, we didn't film much. But I'm back and I'm gonna take my 22 Magnum out this afternoon and I'm gonna go try to try to bust one. Uh, there's, sorry about that. Whenever I'm on the ranch, I don't wear my seat belt, and then my truck screams at me. But uh, I am gonna take my 22 Magnum if I've got any bullets at that at the camp, and slip back here to a little spot, one of my archery stands. There's my 22 Magnum Winchester Model 94. Same exact gun I just did the squirrel video with. Now, I'd like to give Mr. Jordan Doyle a shout out here on Deer Meat for Dinner because I have a sneaky suspicion you shot my 22 Magnum bullets. Luckily, I found one, one bullet, one 22 Magnum that I'll be shooting out of this open sight gun. Let's see if I can make it happen. I'm looking for a 40 to 90 pound boar or sow and I'm gonna try to just smoke them dead and uh, I only got one bullet to do it with let's see what happens All right, you guys, little DJ had a great hunt, killed a beautiful hog, and now Jordan this morning killed his first buck, this little Florida five-pointer. And uh, the great thing about this deer, slam full of deer meat. Got a nice little rack, probably a two-year-old deer, and uh, about 110 pounds, typical for a, for a young Florida deer. Great to eat, and uh, congratulations on your first deer. Now, kill your first deer, gotta show you how to gut a deer. And all you guys, if you want to see the video on how to gut this deer, go to the description below. There will be a link to how to gut a deer. It's going to get age restricted for sure. So I'm just going to put it down there. If you want to watch it, go down and check it out. But there will be blood and guts. You know, so many people think of hunting as like, oh, just going out and killing something. Well, here you go. That's not what hunting is. And I'm so proud. I want to say, Dylan, Jordan, and Cameron, I'm so proud of you for your commitment to manage game out here and understanding that this is a process. So boys, you guys have really impressed me and I, I, I thank the world to you guys, so pretty work. Now, we're going to go get 
get this meat taken care of and, uh, and then we'll see you to the house. Alrighty, so I left my good camera out on the ranch like an idiot. And I got a nice bag of deer tenderloins right there. Venison tenderloins. Just so happens Joey had more than one deer to process, so we, we just got after it. And um, now I want deer meat. So that's a back strap. That's a back strap. These are both tenderloins. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And I've already trimmed them up almost all the way. But if you see any of this uh, silver skin on there, it's best if you can get that off so that your meat is just clean as possible. The more of this you get off, the more tender your meat will be. And that's, that's what most people complain about when they're eating wild game, is that it's tough or that it's gamey. Properly cleaning and trimming your meat will reduce both of those things. So I'm going to be using Everglades Cactus Dust and Fresh Cracked Pepper. The Cactus Dust has like a smoky barbecue flavor. And Black Pepper is kind of self-explanatory. All right, so most of y'all have never had grits. Not instant grits, these are good old fashioned hominy grits. And I use one cup of grits, four cups of liquid. Now you could use chicken stock and really make them good, but I'm just gonna use water and, and go with it. Make sure you salt and pepper it, put a little butter in there, it'd be great. We are gonna add four cups of water right in there. Get it boiling, we need it boiling. Make it boil faster, put a lid on it. So I've got my pot of grits started. Well, I got the water boiling, that's pretty easy. And then I got a cast iron skillet that's got some bacon grease in it. Not a lot, just a little bit. Mm, what did you two at a time? It's very important for what I'm doing to have your pan hot because I want to sear it. And using bacon fat will just give it ugh, so much nice flavor. As you can see, oven is preheated to 300 degrees. Gotta add butter. That's probably a little excessive on the butter, but I ain't complaining. That's what you're looking for. That's what you're looking for, all that caramelization. So the meat is brown on all sides, nice and caramelized. Still extremely rare in the center. Whoops, water's boiling. Oven is preheated to 300. Throw that in there. Put our tenderloins in here. Oh yeah. Making it happen, y'all. Woo. Take our grit right in there. Uh, golly, I'm making a mess. Better turn this down a little bit before I burn the house down. Once you put your grits in there, stir them around. Make sure you salt and pepper them good. Now, bring your water to a boil, then add your grits, then reduce it to a simmer, like a low simmer, cover it, let it simmer for about 20 minutes, It'll be perfect. Start out with some garlic, oh yeah, nice beautiful garlic. I like slicing up the, the garlic like that, because you have nice big substantial chunks of garlic in your sauce that way. Take our onion. Let's 
See, we still have a little bit of that bacon grease left in there. Aha! Now we're getting a little caramelization going on in here. Got a bunch of flavor just exploding. A little bit of all-purpose flour. Um, about that much. You don't want there to be clumps of flour in here. If there's clumps of flour, it'll be clumpy in your in your gravy. You don't want that. It's been a long time since I used this. Whole milk making milk gravy, y'all. Milk gravy. Now, you want to reduce your heat down to about a about a medium to a medium low and let this just start to fall in love. If you're new to making gravy, Everglades Original is the magic potion. I ain't kidding you neither. It, it just, oh, it's so good. <laughs> I've been on a roll lately. Doesn't need anything. Very important not to let your gravy burn on the bottom. So you stir it, stir it, stir it. Make it nice. That's the consistency I like right there. You can make yours thicker or thinner. That's about how I like mine right there. All right, because no one else is here yet, I'm gonna go ahead and take out one of these beauties. Oh, look at that. Tenderloin. The back straps are still probably fairly rare. Take this, we'll just look at that. That's what you're looking for. Take some of this deer meat for dinner, tenderloin, put it right on top of there. Woo. Put some gravy on top of that rascal. That will stick to your ribs and it is amazing. Lord, I thank you for this day and I thank you for all of my many blessings. Lord, I thank you for this food and I thank you for my strength and my health. Please forgive us of all of our sins and keep us safe. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, y'all, I guarantee you one thing. I'm a happy and I'm a thankful man. I was actually going to show you all this before I... I was at... I was at a store yesterday and I saw this card. It said, I need you, I appreciate you, and I love you. I need your hugs, I need your love, I need your acceptance, I need you. A bunch of needs. And it was a card I got for Sarah. Because there's nothing more awesome about a relationship than needing someone, them needing you, and you loving each other together. Uh, her and the girls are out right now, running around. I think she's getting her truck cleaned, and then she's coming home. And I'll have some food here when she gets here. But uh, I just want y'all to know, I encourage you to fertilize your relationships this year. You know how they always say, hey, the grass is greener on the other side? The grass is probably greener over there because someone's fertilizing the grass on that side. Fertilize your grass. Spend time with those that you love and tell them that you love them. And uh, I just encourage you to, to just accept, embrace, and love those around you. Now let's eat. Oh, that's terrible. Are you kidding me? I mean, here's a question. Have you ever had grits in your life? If not, you should try them. And if your answer is, oh, they're bland. Mm -mm. You ain't cooking them right. This is amazing. I mean, check this out. That meat is so tender. I guess that's why they call it tenderloin. Just so tender. 
If you were here, I'd give you a bite right now, I promise you. Mm. Hot diggity dog. Well, all I can say is I appreciate y'all taking the time to watch, hang out with me. Uh, DJ, congratulations on your first hog. Jordan, congratulations on your first deer. Everybody else out there, I hope y'all are having a great day. Fantastic day. Go in the kitchen, make you something good to eat. Or maybe go over here and watch another video of mine. Let me know what you think. I love you guys. But I'm gone.